We're going to do two short halacha of tefillah. It says in the Shulchan Aruch, Seif Tet, Siman, Sadiq, Yishtadel Adam Leitpalel Bebet Knesset. There's an interesting halacha. It's based on the Gemara in Berachot, Amar Rabbi Ben Yamin, En Tefillato Shel Adam Mitkabelet Adam Bet Knesset. Hashem listens to our prayers only in a Bet Knesset. So therefore, um, some people, they're blessed with ten boys. Or I know certain families, they live in one complex, in like one uh, apartment building. Each family has one condo. It, they, amongst the son-in-laws and the family and the cousins, they could have ten people. So the Mishnah Brura brings down, even in such a case where you could uh, daven in, in the uh, dining room of your own house, it's, that's not the right thing to do. You should still um, get up and go to a shul. Why? Because the, since the Shekhinah, there's a certain, since first of all the shul has a Torah in it, a Sefer Torah, and it's a place that was designated for people to pray, there's a higher level of holiness there and it causes the prayers to be accepted much better. Now even higher than this is a place where you actually learn Torah. There's a Bet Midrash, a place that is, um, the, this is based also on the Gemara and Brachot, that it says two of the greatest rabbis, um, Rav Ami and Rav Asi, they would only learn, they would only pray next to the two <coughs> pillars where they were Chavruta and they would study Torah together. And I think the, the reason could be because we want tefillah, we ask God for many things. The number one thing we ask for is wisdom. If there's no understanding, every blessing you have is worthless. But we also have to want to listen to Hashem. How do we listen to Hashem? By learning Torah. So that could be that the, the most auspicious and special place that your tefillah is going to be accepted. And that's why Rav Ami and Rav Asi, they wouldn't pray anywhere. They wouldn't sit in front of the synagogue, usually where the rabbi sits. They stayed and they learned Torah between the two pillars that they would study Torah. Because that shows also that you're interested in what Hashem wants from you. So now Hashem is also interested in what you want from Him. It's a two-way street. Anyways, it's, um, why is this important? Um, pretty soon it's going to be Thanksgiving and a lot of times a person is on vacation and he, unfortunately the cities that we are, especially during COVID, there was no minyan. But there was a gentleman from our community who would always pray here every morning, even though we didn't have a minyan in the middle of COVID. I gave him permission, there was nobody here. Because there's an idea different than a minyan. If you have a minyan in a shul, that's the A+. Plus. But if you're in a different city, like San Diego or whatever, on vacation, and there's a Chabad there, it would be much more appropriate to pray there rather than your hotel room, right? I personally, whenever I travel, I try to do that. Um, and the final halacha that we're going to say is that unfortunately there are some people that are lazy. There's a sh uh, over the years, I've been shocked, literally. There's people that live right across the street, they're Jewish, and they never step foot here. Even Yom Kippur, I don't know, maybe I didn't see that. So it says, if, you're, if you actually do have a synagogue in your neighborhood, and just because of laziness, you don't attend, then that's the Gemara in Brachot, page 8, that says uh, God considers you, considers you a bad neighbor, because the synagogue is the house of God. And if you're his neighbor and you don't come to him, he says you're a bad neighbor and God forbid it causes his children and himself to go to Galut. And obviously, one of the greatest benefits of coming to synagogue is you get a long life. We say that, and um, I kid you not, we have people that I knew always were the first person, Mr. Afra, in our own shul. He was always the first person I saw for 20 years in this holy place. He always opened the door and he lived to a hundred. And I know a few other people that it's... Uh, so one of the great ben benefits is that if you are f the first people, 10 people, here is not a challenge. You're always the first 10 because we're never 10. So, but uh, if you're one of the first people to open up the synagogue, uh, 
I've, we've seen time and time again that it really does bring a long life and a healthy life. Because these people that I know, is not only that they live long, they live robust. They were very robust and healthy. Hashem should help us. Amen.